Hello everyone, this is Shiva from funapps.online and today we are going to learn how to create a launch screen or a splash screen in B4A. As you know, the first impression is the best. A splash screen is an image that you can see when the app is loaded. There is generally no functional elements for the screen as such. It basically comes with an image of your app or a logo of your brand which gives a hint to the user that the app will be launched soon. In my opinion, a splash screen with your company logo will definitely influence users. Also, it is important to make them aware about the company or the developer who created the app. So let's see how to create a splash screen in B4A. So I've opened B4A and I'm creating a new project. So let's call this project launch screen. And I'm going to add a new module. I will call it as launch. Uh, you want the splash screen to be full screen without any title bar so let's change that and let's change the name of the app as well okay first i'm going to create a timer so the timer is the most important aspect in a launch screen. What it will do is it will execute a function after a specific time. Now I'm creating a variable uh, which will hold the width of my logo. Why do we need it? Uh, I want the logo to appear at the center of the screen. So it is important that I get the dimensions right. So over here I'm mentioning that my logo is the size or half the size of my screen width. Now I'm creating a new layout for the launch screen. Let's add an image. And let me add the image file. Now I'm going to give a background to the screen as white. And let me save that. Okay, so let's generate the members. Done. And as you can see, the variable has been created in the activity. Now, what we need to do is we need to initialize the timer. So over here, I'm saying launch timer that initialize and an even name. So let's call it timer one. So over here, 3000 means 3000 milliseconds, which is nothing but three seconds. So the timer initialization takes a variable in milliseconds. I'll enable the timer. So what will happen is once I enable the timer, whatever is in the timer tick function will execute every 3000 milliseconds. So every three seconds, but we want the launch screens to be open only once. So after it is executed, we'll disable the timer so that it is executed only once. If we don't use 
this every three seconds okay the activity main will be restarted so over here let me load the layout launch and now comes one of the most important parts is to set the image right at the center Okay, so what I have done is I am making the image appear right at the center. Now we know that the width of the image is half the width of the activity screen. Okay, so uh, that means what I am doing is the X would be activity minus 75% which will means that the image will start from the 25th percentage of the screen and that will go on for the next 50%. That is the half of the screen. Uh, the height now, because in Android the you know the height of the screen varies with different devices. What I'm doing is I'm taking the height half, and then from that half midpoint, I am deducting half of the image size. So what it will mean is my image from the top will come before the midpoint of the activity screen and then I am uh, you know, specifying the width and the height of the image so because it's a square logo I'm specifying the width and the height as the same it's all done let me save this and uh, let's go back to main Now we want the launch to happen the first time so I'm saying if first time equals to 2 then we need to start the activity launch okay and once the activity resumes, then we will open the main layout. So let's run the program and see. And here we can see the splash screen on the monitor. Yep. So it's working fine. If you want the splash screen to be displayed for a longer period of time, all you need to do is change the milliseconds in the timer event. Um, I would recommend to keep it as three seconds because generally more than three seconds means that you are making the user wait for a longer bit of time. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching it. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button and uh, subscribe our channel for more how to videos. Thank you once again. Uh, this is Shiva from funapps.online.